If you have dull dry wood, if you have greasy, sticky cabinets, water stains, steam damage, I can show you how to make your wood look like new without sanding it down and restaining it. I'm going to start a little demonstration here. I have a nice little wax crayon. I'm going to go ahead and make a little waxy mess here. And of course, the reason we do that is the wax reflects all the products behind me here that we don't recommend. You have a lot of wax, silicone, oil. What happens with all of these products is they just lay on the surface of your wood, make it look good temporarily. What happens in a couple days is it starts fading. You start getting a little waxy buildup. And then, of course, in the kitchen when we cook, we usually add to that little buildup with some airborne grease that kind of just shows up. People try to clean it with a product like this, which is just a soap and water mixture. We don't recommend any product that has water in it. Here's what happens with a product like that, is you wind up just moving the grease around and around and around. And of course, what you're doing is you're actually grinding any buildup you do have back into your finish, and eventually you're just going to start wearing through your finish. So before you get to that point, you want to start using a good cleaner. This is our wood cleaner. It's called Touch of Oranges. No water, no alcohol, no silicone. It's an orange oil-based cleaner. And this stuff just cuts through any kind of grease and grime with minimal effort. You can see it just kind of melts it away. So let's clean up this mess. Now for these kind of cabinets, the way they're designed with these little hard to get to areas, in all of our products that we sell, we actually include, it's a real fine, fine piece of steel. Well, you can see the applicator right in there. So you want to put some cleaner on the little applicator. And that's how you get to these little nooks and crannies where the buildup likes to hide. The other thing we see with kitchen cabinets is where you open and close them, the grease and grime from your fingers kind of leaves a little, we call them grab marks, a little dark area. This is how you get rid of those grab marks without harming your finish. So now we have a nice clean piece of wood. This is actually step one in our step two process. Our next step is we're going to go ahead and add some beeswax. This is our other product called Touch of Beeswax. Beeswax is very easy to apply. We're going to apply it with a four-out piece of steel wool. So what happens is you put a nice coat of beeswax on your wood. And the way beeswax works is the longer you let it sit on your wood, the longer it actually penetrates, feeds into the wood, brings back the natural color and luster of the wood. We normally tell people leave it on there anywhere from an hour to overnight, depending on the condition of your wood. I have an example over here of a piece of wood. I actually got this over in Eureka. I had a customer in here yesterday who was a guide, and uh, I was telling him that uh, I love to fish, and I was over in Eureka fishing, and uh, I found this piece of wood over there, and I had caught some steelhead over there, and I was excited about that. I was more excited about finding this piece of wood to bring home to see if this product would work, and I'm amazed at, at what it does. So this is an overnight application of beeswax. You can see it takes it from here to here. So when we say overnight application, we normally tell people, put a coat of beeswax on it before you go to bed. The next day, there's going to be a little film, a little residue. You're going to go ahead and wipe that off. And then, of course, what you're going to find is not only have you brought your wood back to the original color and luster of the wood, more importantly, this is what you've done. You've actually sealed your wood. You've waterproofed it. You've sunproofed it. Now, we do recommend reapplying the beeswax every six months, especially those areas in your home where you have wood that's exposed to water, steam, or sunlight. In an area like this, if you have the sun coming through the window in the middle of summer, you definitely want to get some, some beeswax on it, especially if it's hitting your piano, your dining room table, whatever piece of furniture. So now we have beeswax on there. So now we're just in a maintenance mode. So now whenever you dust, whether it's once a week or once a month, whatever, you're going to go ahead and just spritz a little dust rag. And then you're going to take off any new fingerprints or smudges. Now for hardwood floors and laminate floors, it's just a matter of spritzing your little microfiber dust mop, whatever you're using. The, the nice thing about our product is it doesn't have any silicone. Silicone is what makes your floor slippery. Silicone is what attracts dust. So now we have a nice clean surface. But as you can see, it's squeaky clean, and even the beeswax surface, there's no oily buildup like you get with the products behind me here.